At the height of its power, the Roman Empire was an unparalleled force stretching from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Euphrates River in the east, encompassing vast territories across Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. By the late 5th century, the Roman Empire was in turmoil. Internal strife, economic troubles and constant pressure from invading barbarian tribes chipped away at the empire's foundations. But what if the Roman Empire never fell? At its peak, the population of the Roman Empire reached around 70 million, governed by a sophisticated bureaucracy and a network of well-maintained roads and aqueducts. The empire was a melting pot of cultures, languages and religions, unified under Roman law and the Latin language. Most historians believe the decline of Rome started as early as the 3rd century, but the nail in the coffin came in 476 AD, when the last Roman emperor of the West, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer. This event marked the symbolic end of the Western Roman Empire, while the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, continued for nearly a thousand more years, the fall of the West plunged Europe into the so-called Dark Ages. Imagine a world where the Roman Empire managed to avoid its catastrophic collapse in the late 5th century. What would our political landscape look like today? First, let's talk about political and military stability. If Rome had persisted, it might have continued expanding its territories, potentially unifying Europe under a single rule. This could have prevented many historical conflicts, with the dominoes removing historic conflicts like the Napoleonic Wars and even the devastating world wars. Politics were definitely one of the major issues the empire faces as they continued to grow. If the Roman Empire could have established a more effective governance system to manage its vast territories, that many of the issues that lead to its fall could have been avoided. This might have involved significant administrative reforms. Perhaps a more decentralized or constitutional form of governance could have emerged, ensuring effective management and reducing internal strife. Consider the potential for a federal structure, similar to modern-day systems where regional governments handle local affairs while a central authority manages overarching policies. This could have prevented the fragmentation that plagued the empire and led to its downfall. Additionally, the Roman military, known for its discipline and innovation, might have continued to evolve. Advances in military technology and tactics could have kept the empire formidable against external threats. With a stable and powerful military presence, the empire could have deterred invasions and maintained its borders more effectively. Next, we'll move on to technological and economic development. Some speculate that Rome's continued existence could have accelerated technological progress, possibly even sparking an early industrial revolution. Imagine scientific and technological advances occurring centuries earlier than they did in our timeline. The Romans were already impressive engineers and builders, responsible for aqueducts, roads, and monumental architecture. If the empire had not fallen, it's plausible that they could have further refined and expanded these technologies. Innovations in engineering, agriculture, and industry might have paved the way for rapid technological growth. Economically, a stable Roman Empire might have strengthened trade links, especially along the Silk Road. This could have boosted economic growth and cultural exchange, although increased connectivity might have also facilitated the spread of diseases like the plague, potentially causing severe population declines. The Roman economy, with its extensive network of trade routes, could have fostered a more interconnected world. This increased trade might have led to the early development of financial institutions and practices that we associate with later periods, such as banking and credit systems. The economic stability provided by a unified empire could have also encouraged investment in large-scale infrastructure projects, further propelling technological advancements. Now let's consider the cultural and religious impacts. The Romans mainly had polytheistic beliefs, meaning many gods and goddesses were worshipped and revered. These deities were credited with the founding of the Roman civilization. Greek mythology played heavily into the Roman belief system. Early forms of Judaism and Christianity existed in the empire, but were not prominent. If the polytheistic religion of Rome had maintained dominance for decades longer, what would many of the modern religions look like today? Would Catholicism or Christianity even exist in their current forms? Additionally, Roman influence on language, law, architecture and culture would have been even more pronounced. 
Latin might have remained the dominant language across Europe, and Roman legal and architectural principles could have become deeply embedded in global cultures. Imagine a world where Latin is the main language not just of Europe, but of global diplomacy and scholarship. The continuity of Roman law could have provided a stable foundation for legal systems around the world, influencing everything from property rights to criminal justice. The fall of Rome also led to the so-called Dark Ages in Europe, a period marked by a decline in knowledge and infrastructure. If Rome never fell, Europe might have experienced continuous development, avoiding these setbacks. The preservation and advancement of knowledge could have been a key benefit. Without the interruption of the Dark Ages, educational and scientific institutions might have flourished. The accumulation of knowledge in fields like medicine, astronomy and mathematics could have accelerated human progress. On the other hand, some argue that Rome's fall created a power vacuum that allowed for new ideas and innovations to emerge. Without this disruption, the world might have experienced less technological and social progress, potentially leading to a more stagnant society. It's possible that the centralised power of a never-fallen Rome could have stifled some of the diversity and innovation that arose from competition among smaller states. The Renaissance, for example, was fuelled by the competition and collaboration between various city-states and nations. A dominant Rome might have limited this kind of intellectual and cultural flourishing. In conclusion, the continued existence of the Roman Empire would have had profound implications for global history. It could have altered political boundaries, accelerated technological progress, and deepened cultural and religious influences. However, these outcomes are speculative and depend on the Empire's ability to adapt and reform its governance structures. What do you think? How would our world be different if Rome had never fallen? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.